Our poll shows that Georgia voters who are more enthusiastic about this election than they were about the election two years ago, well, they're mostly supporting Republican Nathan Deal. Those who are less enthusiastic this time around, more of them are supporting Democrat Roy Barnes. Add up all the variables and it comes out Deal at 49%, Barnes at 39%, and Libertarian John Mons at 8%. So a runoff is possible. Deal says the controversies over his finances and ethics are not hurting him. Well, I think, first of all, people are tired of that in a downturned economy such as we're having. I think they want to know what you're going to do to make our lives better, what you're going to do to make our children's lives better. And that's what we've talked about. Barnes tells us he likes his trajectory and takes comfort despite the poll because of the polls that came out when he ran for governor before. Let's go. The last poll that uh, was taken before I won in 1998 by eight points, had me behind five. Uh, the last poll that was taken in 2002 uh, had me ahead by 12 and I lost by three. Libertarian John Mons was campaigning in South Georgia. His spokesman in Atlanta, Brett Bittner, tells us Mons is in it to win it but would be thrilled to get the 8% on Election Day that the poll shows he has now because we know that we're building for a future run and we know that we're building up our base. So a runoff is possible, not just because there's a third party candidate in the race, but because so far the poll shows not enough voters like either of the two front runners. In Atlanta, John Shurek, 11 Alive News.